Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example which is a combination of trigonometry and mensuration. Now this question is divided into three sub questions and let us start with the first sub question. The diagram shows a circle with center O. The straight line ABC is a tangent to the circle at point B. OB is 8 centimeters. AB is 15 centimeters and BC is 22.4 centimeters. AO crosses the circle at point X and OC crosses the circle at point Y. Calculate the angle XOY that is this total angle we need to find out. Now let us consider the triangle AOB first. Now this triangle is right angled at point B because of the property of the tangent with the radius. That is we know that OB is the radius and it always makes 90 degrees with the passing tangent which is in this case ABC. So let me draw this triangle again and separate it out as a right angled triangle. And we are trying to find out this part of the angle. And to find it out we are going to use one of the trigonometric ratios. Now in this case since we are going to find out angle O, the side opposite to angle O is 15 cm. So we consider this side as opposite and the side opposite to 90 degrees is always the hypotenuse. Now the remaining side becomes the adjacent side. Since here the opposite side is given and adjacent side is given, we are going to consider the trigonometric ratio tan which is given as tan of angle O is equal to opposite side divided by the adjacent side. And here we have the opposite side as 15 cm and adjacent side as 8 cm. So this becomes our tan of angle O. Since we are finding only the value of angle O, let us take the tan on the other side of the equal to sign. So it becomes arc tan or we also call it as tan inverse of 15 over 8. So let us check how much we get over here. So that gives us a value of 61.9275. So let me just take it as 61.9275. 8 degrees. Now this is just one part of the total angle O. The same thing we are going to do in case of triangle OBC. So let me draw it over here again. So this triangle is also going to be 90 degrees because again it's the same radius OB connected to the given tangent that is ABC. Now we have to find out this part of the angle that is angle O. Now again we are going to take one of the trigonometric ratios to find out the angle O and since this is the angle of concern the side opposite to the angle is 22.4 cm. So let us consider this as opposite side and the side opposite to the 90 degrees will be always hypotenuse and the remaining side automatically becomes the adjacent side. So in this case we are again going to use a tan ratio because the opposite and the adjacent is given. So let me write it over here. Tan of angle O is equal to opposite over adjacent and here we have the tan of angle O in this triangle and the opposite side is 22.4 divided by the adjacent which is 8. So again taking the tan on the other side of the equal to sign we get angle O is equal to arc tan or tan inverse of 22.4 over 8. So it gives us a value of 70.346. So let us take 70.346 degrees. So now we have got this part of the angle as well. So let us get the total angle by adding the two angles we found just now. So we have 61.928 plus 
three four six to get the total angle x o y. So this gives us a value of one hundred thirty two point two seven four, or we can round to one decimal place as one hundred thirty two point three degrees. So it is one hundred thirty two point three degrees. Now let us move on to the second part of this question. Calculate the length of the arc X B Y. So we can see that from point O till X B Y there is a sector for the given circle. And in the previous part of this question we had found out this angle is one hundred thirty two point three degrees. That means this angle O is acting as a central angle for the given sector O B Y. And O B is eight centimeter, so we have the radius of O X as eight centimeter and O Y also as eight centimeter. So let me draw this sector again over here for clear understanding. So this is the sector O X B Y, and they have asked us to find the length of the arc X B Y. So we have to find the arc length, and the arc length formula is given as. Theta over 360 times 2 pi r, where theta stands for the central angle of the sector, and r represents the radius of the sector. So substituting the values over here, we get 132.3 over 360 times 2 pi times the radius is 8 centimeter. So this will give us a value of 147 pi over 25. Or changing it to decimal, we get eighteen point four seven. Or taking it to one decimal place, we can write eighteen point five centimeter. So we have the length of the arc X B Y as eighteen point five. Now let us move on to the last part of this question. Calculate the total area of the two shaded regions. That is, we need to find out the area of this region and the area of this region. Now, to find this out, let us consider the total area of the triangle, that is AOC, and if we subtract the area of the sector OXBY from this triangle, then we are left with the area of the shaded regions. So, let me write over here. So, area of shaded region is given as area of triangle AOC. Minus the area of the sector O X B Y. Now let us write down the formula of the triangle A O C. So it is given by the formula one over two times base times height. Now in this triangle, the base is A C, and the height is O B because this is the perpendicular height. So let us substitute the values of A C and O B. So here we get one over two times base is the total length of AC. That is, we get thirty-seven point four, and the height is OB, which is eight centimeter. So let us find out the value. We get here is one hundred forty-nine point six centimeter square. So let us take one hundred forty-nine point six centimeter square. So this is the area of the triangle AOC. Now let us find out the area of the sector by using the formula theta over 360 times pi r square, where theta represents the central angle of the sector, which we had got in part A as 132.3, and r represents the radius of the sector, which is 8 in this case. So let us substitute the values in this formula. So one hundred thirty-two point three over three sixty times pi times eight square, so that will give us a value of seventy-three point eight nine. So this is seventy-three point eight nine centimeter square. So finally, we can find out the value of the shaded region by finding the difference of the two. So we get Area of shaded region is area of triangle, which is one hundred forty nine point six, minus area of sector, which we got seventy three point eight nine. So this will give us a value of eighty four point eight 
75.71 centimeter square so it is 75.71 centimeter square so this is how we find out the value of the shaded region i hope you have understood all the steps and like the video so if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching